Okay, I just plugged this in. This is the residential fridge, and it's drawing. Wow, not even an amp. Okay, excuse the mess. So here is the fridge. It's just a regular. Apartment size fridge. I think it's 23 and a half inches wide. So that's a lot bigger than the, your standard Dometic. It's a lot more room. And then obviously way more room down there. It's been running for less than an hour. Oh, I guess. So then it's at 34, 35 degrees at the back. So it's already cooling down, which as you know, most RV fridges take at least eight hours that I've seen, at least here where, where I'm at. And it's already negative 16 in here in the freezer. So uh, this is one of the reasons why we decided to go with this and do the swap. Okay, I'm trying to do this in the dark, so I don't have a lot of things drawn on the battery, but right now I'm pulling 7 amps, and that's 92 watts, and that's running off, or off the inverter, but I'm powering the new residential fridge. So, I want to show that for reference, and now I'm going to run, disconnect the residential fridge and switch over to the Dometic fridge and see what the difference is. So this fridge, the residential fridge for reference is not uh, cooled down yet. So it's still, you know, running full power or whatever. So let's see what the other one does. Okay, this is the Dometic built in on electric. Uh, which, as you can see, 374 watts, 28 amps uh, at 12 volt, is not very efficient. This uses a lot more power, and I sun or I've seen it even after it reaches temperature. If I disconnect, you know, like when I'm I'm plugging from the pedestal and switching to inverter power it'll reset the computer or whatever and it'll be stuck running like this for at least eight hours even when the temperature is already reached um it'll continue to do that so on electricity these dometic fridges or most rv fridges that i've seen are very inefficient obviously on propane they're a lot better so i've done this in the past but this is the first time recording it and this is the first time actually comparing the power draw on both okay this is the Dometic fridge we have as you can see it's the pretty standard fridge that you can find in most RVs um, but very small doesn't leave a lot of room for us we're a family of five focus See if it can focus there you go and let's see if i can get the model number for you guys it's a dm2652 i'm not sure if you can read it there but if i remember right this is a six cubic foot fridge so and actually that Measurement includes both the freezer and the fridge so it ends up being you know like four cubic feet down here and then about two cubic feet up on the freezer Started the fridge around 4 4 15. It's already 8 o'clock. I'm not sure when it stopped, but It has reached temperature not pulling anything right now uh, which is kind of what I was hoping for. So pretty much four hours. I started around 4.15 to 
Um, it's used 19 amp hours. And that's, you know, from room temperature to cool down. I like it. <laughs> yeah, these draws, I'm guessing, is with the rest of the RV. Um, I'm actually powering the refrigerator from the RV. I got an extension cord going straight into it so it's not hooked up to the wall. I think I'll have to look at the time, but since last time I saw it was at 10 amp hours, 9 or 10 amp hours, so it's it's almost double that. Uh, but it's reached the operating temperature and it's shut off. So really liking the results so far. Okay, so now it's almost 10 in the morning. It's been running all night and I've used 75 amp hours, which is a little more than I expected, but not too bad. So I I turned off the solar panels last night, so it hasn't been getting any solar power or solar power all day today. So I'm about to turn it on and see how how that does. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. So. I turn on the solar around 10 a.m. and it's already an hour and a half later. It's already, it went down from 75 amp hours, I believe, down to 56 amp hours. So the solar is charging. So we don't have to run the generator as much as I expect it to. Okay, got the connection back. So 130 watts of power coming in, seven amps. Uh, and this is only at almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's it's been pretty average. But just over 5 hours ago I started the panels. And I made over 108 or 840 watt hours. From the 400 watts up top on the roof. So I'm hoping that that will improve a lot during the summer. But... I still am powering the fridge off of the battery and let's see if we can look at the state of charge on the battery. It has gone up and down. I think uh, the lowest I saw was 60 something percent. This was a quick little comparison and I will report back when uh, we have it installed which might be a few days from now because I'm going to need some help.